Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and welcome back to my Monday Profile series. Today we are going to look at the Rainbow Shark, so please stay tuned. The Rainbow Shark is also known as the Ruby Red Shark the redfin shark, and the rainbow shark minnow. This freshwater fish originates in Southeast Asia, Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos. Unfortunately, there is a drastic decline in their numbers in the wild, directly related to the changes in their environment. These countries have made changes to their water systems, draining swampland, redirecting rivers, all which have affected the natural habitat of this lovely shark, including disrupting their breeding habits. The aquatic trade is also responsible for the low numbers, but the biggest issue is the degradation to the rivers they inhabit. The rainbow shark has a torpedo-shaped body. Variations of their coloration range from dark gray, dark black, and sometimes dark blue. Another variant is the albino rainbow shark, which are white or cream colored. They have two sets of pectoral fins that are reddish-orange in color, which they're named for. They have a pointed nose with the mouth being flat and turned downwards as they are bottom feeders. To assist them in feeding, they are equipped with a pair of barbells at their mouths. They mature at about 7 inches and can live up to 15 years with proper care. Because of their potential size, it's important to provide them with a long tank. 48 inches is recommended. The height is not as important as the footprint of the tank. Suggested tank size is 55 gallons or larger. Naturally living in rivers with soft sandy bottoms, it's a good choice to use a sand substrate. Anything sharper could damage their barbells as they feed. Many caves, tubes, hiding places, and other decor that provide homes is essential as they do not share and are quite territorial. Plants are also recommended, although hardier broadleaf plants are best as they will nibble the smaller ones, cleaning them of algae and potentially damaging the plant in the process. Residing in rivers and fast flowing waters, you must have a good filtration system and strong aeration. This shark is timid as a juvenile, but becomes more bold and aggressive as it matures. They will fiercely defend their territory, so it's important to have many areas to claim. The rainbow shark is a solitary fish, but if your aquarium has enough caves and hiding places, you can house more than one in the same tank. However, if you plan on adding more, then add a couple to spread out the aggression. The albino rainbows are less aggressive than the black. Other suitable tank mates are Tetris, Danios, and Buramis. Because of their aggressive nature and specific needs in providing the proper setup, they are not recommended as a beginner fish. It's also important to have a good lid on your aquarium as they are jumpers. Feeding the rainbow shark is pretty simple. They do eat algae but are not considered a good cleaning crew member. They will eat a variety of foods from leftovers, decaying plant matter, frozen bloodworms, to fresh veggies such as peas, lettuce, and spinach. They will do well on sinking pellets and algae wafers as their basic diet. The rainbow shark is an egg layer but as yet there are no documented spawns to date. They are bred successfully in Southeast Asian commercial breeding farms with the help of hormone therapy. The females are slightly thicker through the body than the males, but the males tend to have a little brighter coloration. The males also will display black lines on their anal fin as well. I have three rainbow sharks in my 55 gallon aquarium. Two are albino and one black. I'm not sure what they're doing in this video, but they do not fight. I often see the two larger ones swimming together. I have no idea of their gender, but I'm really just glad they get along. You can see they're not fighting, it's more like they're playing. 
I find them very beautiful and interesting to watch. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you had an excellent weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.